Hey chosen ones, it's Jenny, and today we're gonna be talking about how the enemy is so mad at you, like just for being you, your joy, how favorite you are in this next season. When I tell you you're about to be so blessed, even more blessed than you already are, you're gonna be having these enemies come at you left and right because they so mad, like is she getting blessed. You know why you getting blessed? He getting blessed? Whatever. You know why y'all getting blessed? Y'all don't hate on nobody. When it's your turn to go through what God brings you to, through, you go through it. You don't talk about nobody. You don't complain. You still keep a smile on your face. Like, you go through everything you go through with grace. That's why you just, Even when you at show to your worst, your lords are your lords. You know what you be doing? You still be joyful. You still be having a smile on your face. Can't nobody on the outside tell you going through nothing. Because your spirit still be up. These people can't take you. Like, they don't know what to attack. Because when it comes to you, you're always uplifted in your spirit and stuff. So they don't be knowing what to attack. They don't be knowing what to attack because you always just so joyful, up, upbeat, positive. So they don't be knowing what to attack. And that's how you got to keep it. You got to keep them confused. Because when I tell you God is about to blow your mind with all of these good things that he's doing for you. And you know... All that remaining silent and not saying nothing to everything is in order and all it is working out well for you. They don't know what to attack. They don't know what you got going on. All they see is you walking around with a smile on your face and getting everything you desire. That's all they know. You could be going through your worst of your worst, but you put God first and you pray. So when you go through things, you still have that armor of God over your life, and you still got a smile, you still got that joy over your life. So they don't be knowing what you got going on, for real. So that makes them want to attack you. They feel you don't go through nothing because you the stuff that you go through, you go through it silently. You go through everything you go through with God. And people can't take a person that's, always upbeat in a spirit like you know you have your days but you talk about it with god for real you know they might see you a little sad but the stuff that you be going through it just be wild so they be thinking that you gonna just be so sad and down and out but god provides for you every time it don't matter what you got going on, what you need, what you ask God for, he going to come through. He going to deliver. You're not a person that judge and gossip and sit around and talk about other people. You're a person that focuses on yourself. You sit around and talk about ideas with people while other people sit around and gossip about other people. You don't engage in that type of stuff. That's why you always blessed. That's why you always have more than enough. Like, when you have a spirit that's about, all about just um leveling up and doing what you have to do to just be in a better space mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, you're just focused on leveling up your life and you're not focused on other people. Watch how God bless you. God, like, my girl not gossiping, my boy not gossiping, my boy is praying, my boy heart is sincere. You know, they're focused on building a relationship with God. They're not focused on nobody. They're not in nobody mess. They're not in no drama. They sincerely just want to prosper in life and be a better version of themselves so that's why you always bliss 
that's why God always got you on your list. Got him on. He God always has you on the list of favor. You know why? Because you just carry yourself with grace. People could do you the worst of the worst, the baddest of the baddest, the lowest of the low. Guess what you gonna do? You gonna leave it in God's hands. And you see, a lot of people can't do that. God said, vengeance is mine. So, see, you, you chosen. You be leaving all that stuff that people do to you. You leave it in God's hands. And God be like, oh, okay, she really trusts me. He really trusts me. He know I'm going to handle his lightweight. He know I'm going to handle his back. So he don't even be tripping about nothing because he already know I'm going to handle it. And you know, God can do way worse, a um, trillion infinity times worse than what you was going to do to them people. So why mess up your karma, mess up all the goodness and blessing that you are receiving and God is blessing you with? Just to drop down and stoop to the low of the low and be what they is. God gonna handle them. Like, it's not up to you to perse um, persecute. Whatever that word is. It's not up to you to go out there and handle the enemy. That's up to God. Like, leave it up to God. Like, God knows what you're going through. God knows what you're up against. And trust and believe he will not leave you out on the battlefield alone. He's out here fighting for you. And you know... God going to come on time every time. He's always going to be on time. He's a he's a on God is an on time God. He don't leave you out there by yourself to sink and all. He's going to come through. He's going to come through. So, with that being said, keep a positive mindset. Keep going. Win in the face of adversity. Never let the enemy see you sweat. And just keep going. And I love you all. Make sure y'all shop my hair care line because look at my edges. They they going so hard right now. <laughs> I love y'all.